Well, hello, guys. Welcome to Sister Girl Readings. My name is April Nicole. And here I am to do the water signs. So I'm not doing them all in one video right here. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing, you guys, this morning. Because I like the fact that you guys have read my views up. And I love water signs. So I'm going to do, I was going to do Scorpio. I'm going to do Pisces. I'm going to do Pisces. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, my water signs have been making my views go up higher, and I love breath, you guys. I am a Vedic uh, Scorpio sun, Cancer moon. So, you know, I definitely feel the love of the water signs. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so let's look and see your spread. If you are a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, this video will apply to you. If it does not apply, um, go check your moon and your ascendant. If it doesn't apply, then get a personal reading from me. Um, it may not always apply reading for thousands of people, even those who are not subscribed to my channel. So you may actually get a piece of a message, but the best way to make it totally catered towards you is to book a reading on sistergirlreadings.com. I do have a Patreon. It's a small membership for those who are looking for a question a week, and I definitely will give it to you. Um, I definitely feel like the question a week is a good option for those who don't have a lot of money, but they want to get um, a special reading for them every once a week. So, um, get with me. Okay? Um, let's see here. Anything else? Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, leave a comment if it resonates. I do read them. Okay, let's go into your reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising until the 15th of August, 2019. What are the messages? Oh. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. So some of you guys are working on being vulnerable with someone that you love or care about. Let's see. Pisces. Um, rekindle passion and go slow. Maybe you're thinking about going back with someone that you dated. Trying something you never did before. Maybe you guys are trying new things or trying a new approach or trying a new aspect of the relationship. Um, it says go slow and get to know each other. Maybe you guys can understand what it's like to finally, like, um understand where you guys have been from or came from and instead of making the same mistakes that you guys are going fast you guys are going to take extra special time to reevaluate the relationship and see if it has any potential um let's see if i see sun moon and rising okay so longing someone is longing for you could be someone from the past anything else Pisces. Okay, stability. You may feel that this relationship has longevity or it can stand the test of time. Anything else for Pisces? Uh-oh. It completely fell apart. Okay, let's see. Anything else for Pisces? Anything else for Pisces? Some moon and rising until August 15th. Oh, damn. This is the like third time your cards have all, like, exploded. Okay. You know, I'm going to leave these cards here. Be careful, Pisces, about sexual relationships that have no merit or no balance or no, no longevity or deafness. You may feel the chemistry is very strong. And you know what? You guys may play and work hard together. You may feel that this relationship is faded and you guys have it what it takes to be together. But hold on. Somebody is giving too much to the relationship. Balance. Someone needs to release their ex and let the situation go. In order to really love someone, you must let them heal and let them go. Someone needs to spend time apart. Okay? So someone has to make time apart for themselves and get clarity for them. And they need that time apart to figure out what they want to do for their lives. Strictly sexual and decisions. Someone wants to have a sexual connection with you. They don't want anything deeper than what the fuck they can give you. Dick and bubble gum. And if you are getting tired of that situation... If you're in love with someone and you're longing for them and you're vulnerable and you want to give them stability and you want to rekindle something and they just want the dick, then fuck them. They're obviously not appreciating your worth, your value, your essence, your intelligence, everything you have to, to give as a woman or a person or a man. They're not respecting it because guess what? If they did, it just wouldn't look at you as a sexual connection. Now, it's not talking about those who actually have an agreement. We're talking about people that actually go into relationships with good people that want to be with someone but instead they play games with your youth and your life and just say oh yeah i just want some digging that's it fuck up out of here go find you a hole go go pay for sex work if that's what you want 
some of these women and men, they have, they have morals and values that respect themselves. Not saying that sex workers don't. But I'm saying that that's a different situation because that person is paying time and money for their sex. You are trying to get a free situation out of a situation that don't need to even be that deep. Like, you trying to get sex out of a person that don't give sex as a price or they don't, they want something else. You trying to bait and switch a motherfucker and that's not cool. And I guess what, I'm going to read your ass every time you do it at the Pisces. Fuck. All right. Now, let's look. Anything else for Pisces? Be careful of them people that, them dudes that come in and they woo you and romance you. Boundaries. Need boundaries. These boundaries came up right here. Some of y'all need to make boundaries with y'all relationships. You love too hard. You're emotional. You're Pisces. You're Pisces here. So you're, you're, you're deluded. Neptune is ruling you. You can't see the truth. You can't see how this person really is. They put a blinder over you. And you're just sitting there like, this person can be very toxic or they just want sex from you or they don't want to give you anything of merit or value. Like, be careful of people to just take advantage of you. If you are in a relationship and you know what you want and that person is giving it to you or close to it, then we're not talking about you. If you are in a relationship and you give everything to a motherfucker and they just act, they don't give you nothing that you can say that is beneficial to you for your time and energy, bye. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, what the fuck are we sitting here talking about? All right, boundaries and Pisces. What is the messages for the boundaries for Pisces? All right, six of swords. So someone is um, maybe taking a trip. Someone could be traveling. Temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Things are imbalanced. Things are just waiting for the dust to settle. Uh, I see bars. Could have been jail. Um... Yeah, I definitely see this. See this person has a lot of swords. They have to cross a bridge. Maybe they um going they're bridging the gap between their immaturity, but they still have a lot of things to um balance. I see this person also they they got the stick in their hand. They're trying to light the way. It could be like a branch, but they're like taking charge of their lives. They didn't necessarily think things went out the way they wanted, unsavory situations, but they feel the need to um, draw some boundaries or you to draw boundaries with this person. Temperance can be about arguments, ego struggles, rifts, drama, situations that are emotionally imbalanced or out of balance, and now they manifest in the spiritual imbalance. Um, what is up with Pisces and the boundaries? What do you need to know about boundaries? This Okay, nine of pentacles could be dealing with uh, a earth sign or someone with a lot of money or you could have a lot of money. Maybe you uh, put boundaries up about people who try to come into your life and cause them balance. Okay. Um, longing. Uh-oh. That fell out. Longing. Someone is longing for a title or relationship or therapy. Could be thinking about therapy. Someone wants, um, either they want to, they would contribute to the situation and they want to fix it, or they're smarting from a deception. Or it says here, the ten of swords can be about a person who feels betrayed. They don't want to go back to someone. They, they may want to have closure, but they don't necessarily want to come back to you. Um, they feel, someone is miserly or mean or conservative, could be a, a Capricorn or a Cancer. Um, someone wants to start a small relationship with you, a small venture, or going to school. Uh, maybe somebody wants to start a small, like, friendship with relationships, kind of type of relationship. Maybe they want to start a, a friends with benefits after being down for so long. Maybe they're thinking about the things they've done and how they treated you, and now they want to kind of, like, keep it cordial. Uh, what's vulnerability? Five of Wands, so um, you may be fighting being vulnerable with this person. Um, yeah, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you're fighting. This could also be a person who's trying to reprioritize or redistribute. This person is emotional. They know, but they're very intuitive. You can't pull nothing over their eyes. They see things coming, so good luck with that. And they're probably vulnerable or fighting your vulner fighting vulnerability with their mate for a reason because the person isn't worth the vulnerability. Um, 
you could be fighting vulnerability because you don't want nobody to help you. Maybe you've pretty much done everything on your own. Let's see, stability. Okay, so seven of swords. Someone does not have stability. Someone is a deceptive person. They like to play games. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here's the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups right here. They're both upright, but this person doesn't have a title. So someone wants to give you a relationship without a title. They want to string you along at their convenience. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a man that's emotional, loves to be liked and accepted by everybody who's a je jealous, possessive, or moody. Um... Yeah, it just seems like this person, um, they don't want to give you a solid title. They want to jerk you around, and they love to be admired, respected, but it's just like they're not giving you anything. They want to rekindle a passion, too. Let's see. Let's rekindle a passion. The devil. So they want to keep you trapped in a relationship that doesn't give you anything. Seven of Pentacles. You don't really trust that. Like, you're like, mm, no, I don't know about that investment. I've been investing in you for seven years, seven months, seven days, seven weeks. And I feel like it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's strength card. You're trying to hold on, have strength. Leo could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could have kids, this person. But this person you want. Here's how it is. Like, you may want, because you're the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Order Energy. You may want this person to give you an offer of forever or happiness or forever ending tenants about completion. You want this. Or maybe this person wants to give it to you. Um, hmm. Let's look at, go take it slow, take it slow, okay, high priestess and the four of cups, you don't know all the secrets or all the facts, it's better to just sit down there and think about your next move, you got all the options in the world, maybe you, maybe things didn't go out the way you hoped and now you're just in a position of thinking about what your next move is. And your love relationships are platonic, but I want to come back to this um, this this ten of cups and this not this um, nine of cups and rekindling something. Because I definitely see someone wants to um, they definitely want to trap you in a situation, and they don't want to give you what you're looking for. Or they don't know how to give it to you, but they don't know how to give it to you. Why the fuck are they in your face? Stop wasting your time. Cause you definitely show sure only serious Pisces. Ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. Crazy as hell, ain't it? Okay, so let's look. What is. I see you got the devil here. What. Wh okay, so if this person is trying to trap someone in the Pisces energy, what is the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups? Okay, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Or Knight of Pentacles. Someone wants to give you an offer. It could be a famous person, it could be an attractive person. A creative artist, rapper, musician. Uh, I get this as a creative person, like somebody that's uh, either a director or someone that uh, is in the creative arts. Someone that is very well known for their performances or their craft. Could be a painter, could be, could be anybody in the artistic field, but they want to give you an offer. Um, so the offer is Knight of Cups and Ten of Cups, but let's see, will they really give you what you are looking for? Will they fulfill the Knight of Cups and Ten of Cups? See, no, Six of Cups, they're an ex. See, this person is an ex. They, you're living in the past, this person. You're dealing with Scorpio. You're living in the past. I get Libra, too. Libra likes families and shit. See, this person here, this guy, he's looking at this girl. They have an understanding, but the other person is kind of like, and not in the loop. I feel like you may not be in the loop. You may be a little naive. Someone knows about a relationship and someone doesn't. It could be in a third-party relationship. But I definitely feel like... You guys have old baggage, old wounds. This can also be about a father who's not taking care of his children. He's trying to reconnect his passion with his kids. Um, one daughter knows you and the son doesn't know you and you're feeling remorseful and wanting to get your, your parenting back together. But I definitely see here, um, this is some of you guys who I do see someone wants to offer to fix their family. And that's very sweet that they want to do that. They're stuck in the past and how to do that and they want to make sure their family is stable and be the provider and protector got that um if somebody's working too damn much and someone is burnt out and they're trying to have the strength to take care of the kids got that too but um for those who are not talking about children be careful of offers that are not that come with price tags or chains okay Pisces make sure your energy is correct with these people and make sure they're not trying to take advantage of you 
And the last card I got for you is the Wheel of Fortune. Some things are not going to be in your favor. Uh, it's a cycle. The cycle will change. Um, these are six signs. Air, 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 fire, water, and earth. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and um, what's the other one? Uh, Aquarius. Oh, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. So, you could be dealing with those people, but I definitely feel like something is not going in your favor. Um, be careful about things that turn out badly. Maybe a relationship is on the outs, but it, it has a potential of turning around. You have a potential of getting out of a bad cycle, but be careful because just because you have a bad cycle doesn't mean the relationship is better. It just means that you got a bad cycle. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yep. So, um, I got a Patreon, so make sure you Patreon with me. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.